All right, guys, welcome back for round two. I got my brother joining me. You guys haven't met him before, Hello. but all right. So, round two. First round, we did 30 forward lunges alternating. Now we're gonna do 30 alternating reverse lunges, okay? So for the first round, if you were doing the forward lunges and it hurt your knee and you stepped back because it was better for you, this just means you're doing it again, all right? So, pick up your dumbbells. So just in case you guys are wondering the weights we have, I have 30s, my brother has 20s in his hand, all right? So, step back into a lunge, drive up through that front heel, one, one. 15 each leg, guys, two. Two. Remember, I told you guys to count just to make sure that you're breathing. Three, four, four, five, five. Keep that chest up. Six, six. Drive through that front heel, guys, to activate more of the posterior side of your leg. Want to keep counting? First stress, this is nine right here. Nine, nine. Just so I can count or talk. There you go, 11. Last four, guys. Wow. I feel on burn. Oh, yeah. Last three. 13. Last two, you guys did it. 14. There you go, one more. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Oh. Perfect. All right, guys. Drop those. Now what we're gonna do, again, I will allow you guys to take little breaks in between each exercise. Now, Rather than looking at heart rate, I look at the way you talk. So if you've seen one of my videos before, you'll know what I mean. I try to have conversations with you. How are you feeling? Nah, are you done? Nah, I feel my if I feel like he has to take a break in between each word, let him calm down. If you can say a whole sentence without having to go like this, then you're ready to work. All right, so grab the lighter set of dumbbells that you guys had, okay? So last time we did a squat press. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna hold them right here. So same position as we had them last time. Okay, but this time we're not gonna go like this. This time we're gonna step or come up and do a regular thruster or single arm press. Down, up with the other arm. Okay, total of 20. So it's 10 each arm. Squat position, ball shoulder width apart, knees slightly out with your toes. Right on first, guys. Three, two, one, go. Core tight, rotate. One, two, good steady pace. Three, four, five, six, seven. Don't let that chest fall forward. Eight, nine, reaching nice and high. Halfway there, guys, 10 more. One, two, three, Four, five, last five, we made it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I like to see. All right, now guys, we're gonna bend over. We're gonna get this position here. We're gonna do a rear delt raise. Bam, come down. When I come down, I'm gonna rotate my hands into the supinated position. So palms facing forward. Then we're gonna do a row. Back down, fly, row. Now guys, when you're bent over in this position, like I've told you many times before, if you didn't know already, you're putting your lower back at a disadvantage when you're bent over. So really make sure that that belly is tight, your, your core is braced, belly button towards the spine. That way you feel no pain in your lower back, okay? So that combo, is one. We're gonna go for 10, okay? Three, two, fly first. One, go, rear delts, bam. One, row towards the hip. Two, three. Remember guys, every, keep counting Justin. Every back exercise is initiated by your scapula, your shoulder blades. Your arms just follow. So really focus on those shoulder blades, initiating the movement. Last two. Last one. All right, guys, let's bring those mats out. Let those arms rest a little bit. Justin, you can grab that mat in front of you. So guys, if you have a light dumbbell, I'm talking like a five, 
maybe an eight. Go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna give him a five, I'm gonna take his 10, okay? I'm gonna time us. So even though we're on the mat, we're still gonna be working our arms a little bit, as well as our core at the same time. We're gonna get in this V position right here. As we're in this, we're just gonna press straight up. Okay, for 30 seconds. Now, you may see me fall a couple times. Long story, but I hurt my tailbone for not using the mat. Pretty much I got a blister on my tailbone, so it fucking hurts. But I'm gonna try and power it out for you guys, all right? So, we'll start with our right arm first. Get in that V position. Arm right here, we're pressing straight up, okay? With our feet off the ground. Three, two, one, go. Straight up, guys. If you don't have a timer, you stop when I stop, okay? Focus on that core. That's why I want this dumbbell to be light. It should be trying to weigh you down. You should stay stable. If you're feeling your belly button and your stomach, your stomach should be flat. There shouldn't be a cone, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Rest for a split second. Lay your arms and legs rest for a second, hurts. Yeah. Feels good, all right? But this hurts probably your arms too because your arms are already fatigued from the past couple circuits we've been doing. So guys, next arm. Do you have a timer on you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have him get it because I'm using my left hand and I won't really be able to look at my watch. All right, ready? Three, two, one, let's rock. Control, guys. Try to stay as stable as possible without moving. Just send out. You know what I mean? There you go. Feel that belly, make sure there's no cone. We're almost there, guys. 10 seconds. Breathe in five, four, three, two, and one. Great. All right, guys, lie on your back now. We're gonna go ahead and put our hands under our butt. Lift your legs, hands under our butt. Lift your legs up, but keep them in this tabletop position. This is the starting position, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kick our hips up. And I want you to lower them down as slow as you can. We probably do this in every single one of my videos. Why? Because if you get this down, guys, you will see your lower abs, I promise you. Especially if you control this part. You really gotta connect with that deep core, okay? So again, I'm gonna time us here because I want you to get as many quality reps as possible. So we're actually gonna do this for about a minute. I'm just going to give you a minute to practice taking each rep as slow as possible. I don't even care if you get five in that minute. Focus on taking the, the eccentric part, the lowering phase, as slow as possible. Stopping here, back up, slow as possible, stopping there. All right, one minute, guys. Are you ready? I know you are. Three, two, one. Let's rock. Up, slow, roll that spine down. Then we stop right there in that tabletop position. Lower back is flat, it's all core. Pushing those hips up. Nice. Connect with that body, guys. These are not easy, so don't think that just because you can't control the way down, or maybe even not even get your hips up, that you're weak, or that you're doing it wrong. It's okay. If you physically can't do these, let's just do leg raises like this. The second your back starts to, drop, to arch, Stop. So if you start here, your back starts to arch right here, come right back up and just make that your range of motion. Or you can do half and half. But these right here, guys, quality. That's what we want. 20 seconds. Beautiful. Woo! Oh, now 20 seconds. Oh, man. My watch stopped. I'm gonna say 10 seconds. Nine, eight, Seven, six, one more guys, come on. One more each. Three, two, one, go. As slow as you can. Ooh. See guys, I maybe got like 10 reps, 10, 15 reps in there. I felt all my abs, it was great. All right guys, turn around. You can remove the mat. Go ahead and grab those lighter dumbbells. 
what we're gonna do, the renegade rows. You guys all know how to do renegade rows, right? So again, even though we're working our arms, the fact that we're in this plank position, we're working that core too. Because when you do the row, we, do, we don't want our hips to open up like that. Nice and stable, straight, row. Row, you come up, we jump. Right back down. All right, guys, I, I counted as one. We're gonna get 10. You ready? Let's rock, three, two, one. Row towards your hip, bam, hip. Snap up, nice little hop, nothing too crazy. And again, guys, if your back hurts, just do a squat up like he did. Just stand up. No need to jump, just go like this, up. Nice squat down, make sure you're not like that. And then you can even step out. Just regress it. But if you're a little advanced and wanna jump, you can do it. Last five, guys. Last four. I'm gonna do standing now because my mic's about to fall. It's not an excuse, I promise. Last two, guys. One more. Awesome. Oh, great job. Almost there. We're gonna do a little finisher right here. Let's go ahead, put that dumbbell in front of you. Now, very similar to the tap, tap push up we did. But now what we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Elbows, tap, tap. Come up, do it again. So we're tapping the dumbbell, guys, when we're on our elbows, okay? Let's do it. That counted. Actually, let's time ourselves again, okay? All right. Y'all ready? We're doing this for one minute. Three, two, one. Go slow though first, so watch, ready? One, two, three, four, elbows, tap, tap, up. One, let's go this pace, guys. Three, four, down, tap, tap, come up. One, two, three, four. Again, guys, you don't have to keep up with me. Go at your own pace, you know exactly what to do. If you want to go faster, you can go faster. But remember, it's time. So quality over quantity. And when we're doing these taps, guys, we still want to make sure that our hips aren't moving too much. Two, three, four. Come on, Jay, we got this. Oh my, God. <laughs> my brother's dying next to me, guys. I hear him. <laughs> he can't push himself up from, this, from the floor. 15 seconds, we got it, come on. 10 seconds. That gives us enough time for one more, guys. Come on. Ready? Tap, tap. Uh, one, two, three, and four. All right, guys, let's finish this burnout with jumping jacks. Y'all ready? Three, two, one minute of jumping jacks. Go. Finish it. We finish it off with an easy exercise. Nothing to it, right? This is like a little cool down. Breathe, guys. Just to add that extra little calorie burner effect to the end of our workout. Because maybe some of you guys are at like, you know, 250 calories. We wanted to get to 300. Let's do it. You're welcome. Got halfway there. Nice, guys. Great freaking job today. Nice full body workout. Wasn't too long, about 20, 25 minutes, right? So no excuses to get this done. Even if you just have one pair of dumbbells, you can still do it. 10 seconds. Good five, four, three, two, one. Justin, thank you for joining me on round two. Guys, it's always a pleasure. See you guys next week.